Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young boy named Raj. Raj was a bright and ambitious child, but he often struggled with controlling his mind. He would easily get distracted and find it challenging to focus on his studies or any task at hand. This lack of control over his thoughts made him feel frustrated and led him to underperform in school and other activities one day. As Raj was sitting under a tree feeling dejected, an old wise man named Guruji passed by. Guruji noticed Raj's distress and sat down beside him. He asked, What troubles you, my child? Raj poured out his heart to Guruji, explaining how he couldn't control his mind and it was affecting his life negatively. Guruji smiled kindly and said, Young man, controlling your mind is indeed a great challenge, but it is not impossible I will share a story with you that might help you understand the power of the mind. Long ago there was a fierce and skillful archer named Arjun. Arjun was famous for his precision and accuracy in hitting targets. One day a young boy approached Arjun and asked him to teach him the art of archery. Arjun agreed and began mentoring the boy as the boy practiced. Arjun noticed that the young archer was talented, but his mind wandered constantly. He couldn't concentrate on his target, and his arrows veered off course. Seeing this, Arjun devised a plan to teach the boy a valuable lesson. Arjun set up a challenge for the boy. He placed a small wooden bird on a tree branch some distance away and asked the boy to target its eye. The catch was that the boy could only look at the bird's eye and nothing else. The boy took his bow, but as he raised it, Arjun stopped him and asked, What do you see? The boy replied, I see the bird, the tree, the sky, and everything around Arjun nodded and said, You will never hit the target if your mind is scattered. Focus only on the bird's eye and let everything else fade away. The boy tried again, but his mind kept wandering. He couldn't keep his focus solely on the bird's eye. After several attempts, he felt defeated and said, I can't do it. Arjun smiled and said, You can, but to control your mind you must tame it like a wild horse be patient and keep practicing. The boy followed Arjun's advice and practiced diligently. He started to meditate daily to strengthen his focus and control his thoughts. With time, he became more and more skillful. Months later, Arjun set up the same challenge again. This time, when the boy took his bow, he gazed unwaveringly at the bird's eye, and everything else disappeared from his vision. He released the arrow into everyone's amazement. It hit the bird's eye with astounding accuracy. Guruji looked at Raj and said, My child, just like that young archer, you too can master your mind. It requires practice, patience, and dedication. Train your mind to focus on the present moment, and don't let distractions sway you from your goals. Raj felt a renewed sense of determination after hearing the story. He decided to follow Guruji's advice and began practicing mindfulness and meditation with consistent effort and perseverance. Raj learned to control his thoughts and focus on his studies and tasks effectively. Over time, Raj became a top-performing student and his confidence soared. He realized that the power to control his mind lay within him all along, and now he could direct it towards achieving greatness in all areas of his life. And so, dear reader, remember the tale of Raj and the young archer. Whenever you find your mind wandering, recall this story and remind yourself that you have the strength to control your mind and channel it towards your dreams and aspirations.